Hello everyone. In this tutorial, you'll be given a brief introduction on HMDB, short for the Human Metabolome Database, and an overview on how to navigate, browse, search, and interpret results in the website. The Human Metabolome is defined as a complete collection of metabolites found in the human body. Metabolites are small molecule chemicals like amino acids, organic acids, and sugars that typically have a molecular weight less than 1500 Daltons. HNDB, short for the Human Metabolome Database, is a comprehensive online resource that allows users to search or browse through more than 40,000 known human metabolites. The information in HNDB includes chemical names and synonyms, chemical structures, compound descriptions, chemical taxonomies, NMR and MS spectra, biological or biofluid concentrations, known chemical reactions, and metabolic pathways, the roles in human disease, and much more. The HNDB is more like an online encyclopedia than a database. It is really intended to help scientists perform advanced metabolomics research and is often used by researchers to identify chemicals in human biofluids through its spectral searches and to interpret their biological roles in human health and disease. Now that we know a little bit about HNDB, let's learn how to navigate around the website. First, open Google. In the search bar, type HNDB. Next, click on the link that reads www.hndb.ca. Opening the website, you will see five different tabs, Browse, Search, Downloads, About, and Contact Us. In the Browse tab, you can browse through HNDB's large collection of metabolites using different categories. Similarly, in the Search tab, you can form different searches for metabolites based on these provided options. In the Downloads tab, you can choose to download any of these data sets used in the HNDB database. In the About tab, you will find information and guides on how to use the site, major release notes, a link to the data sources used in the HNDB database, and more about the HNDB project. Finally, the Contact Us tab provides contact information and a nice feedback form if we wish to submit our questions or concerns to the authors of this site. Should you want to go back to the home page at any time, you can do so by clicking this icon. As a side note, you may notice the convenience search bar located on the top right side of the HNDB webpage. You can use this to quickly search terms in the HNDB based on these category filters. Metabolites, diseases, pathways, proteins, or reactions, as displayed here on this expandable list. Later in the video, you will learn more about how to use the specific search utility in greater detail. Now that you're familiar with the website, let's start browsing and searching through the database. Let's start with browsing first. Head over to the browsing tab and click Metabolites. For this tutorial, I won't be discussing these other subcategories as they follow a similar template as we shall see here in Metabolites. Clicking will redirect us to the Browsing Metabolites page. Here, there are three sections, the Filter section, the Extraction option, and the list of all the metabolites found below that meet a given search or filter criterion. By clicking Apply Filter, this will refresh our results based on the filters we provided above. If we choose to extract data from these results for future reference, click on Extract Data from these results and select the fields from which you wish to extract the data. You can specify the file format here, Extract and download the file upon completion. That's it for browsing. Now let's head over to HNDB's search utilities. Expanding the drop-down menu at the search tab, you can see that there are many different options to choose from. Clicking on the Chem Query Structure Search, we can perform a chemical structure search, drawing our query structure here with the tools provided in this box, and adjusting the respective search parameters here on the side. Instead of drawing the structure, we can also paste in a small string directly in the drawing box, which is much faster and far easier than drawing a structure from scratch. Smiles, short for simplified molecular input line entry, is a line notation for representing molecules. 
Here is an example of a smile string for 1-methylhysidine. By selecting its smile string and copying it, we can paste it into the drawing toolbox by clicking on the drawing box and entering either Command V on Mac or Control V on Windows. Once it's pasted, 1-methylhysidine is auto-generated in the drawing box. Finally, when we're satisfied, clicking the search button quickly returns all metabolites in the HNDB with similar structures. HNDB also allows you to search chemicals by their molecular weight. If we click the molecular weight search tab, we can specify a molecular weight range here. Clicking the search button will return all metabolites in the HNDB within the given molecular weight range. Under the text query option, we can find our search terms here with Boolean operators and specify what we want to look for. As mentioned before, we can also enter our search terms here on this search bar located on the top right hand corner of the HNDB website. Listed below are examples and support and description of how HNDB handles these searches. Next, we have the sequence search. Here we can copy and paste a FAST-A formatted protein sequence and reconfigure the BLAST parameters to your preferences. Searching will yield a list of all sequences in the HNDB with similar sequences to your query sequence. Following is the advanced search option which can be used to build queries that support a wide range of conditions and predicates. We can add as many conditions here and choose to match all or match any. Perhaps the most useful tools in the HNDB are the spectral searches for mass spectrometry and NMR spectroscopy. Search types include mass, tab and mass, gas chromatography, and mass, 1D NMR, and 2D NMR. Each spectrum search option can be accessed via the quick tabs above. Different spectral searches have different fields that have to be filled in, and if you're confused as how your input should look like, click on example, which will generate sample numbers for you to test. Here, I have shown what the output for a typical TAD and MASS search would be. Note how the match structures are scored for their fit, R fit, and purity relative to the query TAD and MASS data. That's it for searching. Now that we're familiar with browsing and searching, it's time to look at what kind of data is in a typical HNDB entry. Let's go back to the browsing metabolites and select the first entry in the database, 1-methylhysidine. Each metabolite record in the HNDB has 10 different data sections covering identification, taxonomy, ontology, physical properties, spectra, biological properties, concentrations, links, references, and XML. To look at specific sections such as the identification section, we can quickly access that by clicking the tab labeled identification above. You can also access the section by scrolling down and viewing some of the other descriptive sections. Within the identification section, you will find the common name, a detailed description, the structure, the synonyms, the chemical formula, the average molecular weight, the monoisotopic weight, the IUPAC name, the traditional name, the cast number, the smile string, the ing chi identifier, and the ing chi key. Each metabolite entry in the HNDB typically contains more than 100 different data fields. The spectra section is one of the most commonly accessed sections in the HNDB. Clicking on any of these spectral links will display a fully annotated MS or NMR spectrum for that compound. In summary, we learned how to browse and search through the HNDB website and have looked at what some of the HNDB entries contain. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please stay tuned for more videos to come.